I've practiced law for 27 years and I've kayaked for about seven. A kayak is functional. It's built to be able to actually go down river and do it sometimes elegantly. And while you get out of balance, it's not working anymore. The law is exactly like that. The law is built to have a kind of balance and to work in people's lives. You get outside of it, you push it too much, it becomes dysfunctional. It's just hard for me to fathom in this day and age uh, that we could walk into the Oregon courtroom today and, and see seven men sitting on the bench. They're all very good men. Uh, I'm certainly not critical of any of them individually. I just think collectively uh, that Jenny offers something uh, from a very different perspective, and that is she's a woman, that she's a lesbian. The court needs to represent the face of the state. And it doesn't do that if we don't have balance, both racial, gender, and in any other way that would help us reflect the values and attitudes of the people of the state. Oregon is in some ways a socially conservative state, at least in parts of the state. I think there's a lot of fear that's not that far underground in Oregon relating to issues of gay rights. She's a fair judge. Doesn't matter whether you're gay and lesbian, if you're a minority, or if in many cases you might be an ultra conservative. What she's going to do is look at your case from the perspective of law. As a judge, my, my sense is that being gay or lesbian gives you a perspective that you bring to the bench as you would if you were a woman, a, a person of color, whatever that may allow you to see things that other people don't see. Having that mix of people at the table in the Supreme Court is really no different than what we want in juries. It'd be unthinkable anymore to have juries be all men and all white men. And the reason for that is because we don't trust that the discussion is incorporating everything that needs to be there. For the court to have legitimacy, in its decisions, it has to have a lot of different kind of people at the table. And those people that bring the insight and broaden that discussion give the citizens confidence that there's been a full discussion. Jenny will spend hours out there in the garage making sure that it looks like perfection. She wants it 100% perfect, and in reality probably achieves 98 to 99%. And she takes that same sort of passion, that same sort of attention to detail into the courtroom with her. It's just a very thorough process she goes through, and it's sort of the same uh, commitment that she applies to her life in general. I've got a 20-year-old daughter who wants to go to law school. Her dad's a judge. It'd be almost impossible to explain to her why she, she's smarter than I am. She's got a lot more advantages than I have in terms of personality. And for me to be able to say, you can do anything I can do because you're smarter than I am, you're better than I am, and have her look at a picture of seven guys on that court makes it feel like a lie. Doesn't matter why that's the case, it just feels like it's a lie to her. And uh, nobody can explain to her why Judge Linder shouldn't, shouldn't have, this, have this job. Role models matter because they help people find their place their sense of legitimacy. If you are a person whose life is different, whose background is different, whose face or skin color is different, a role model that represents someone else who is different can give you permission to be there. People who know Jenny Linder know that she takes care of the law. She's really balanced in her thinking. I think she's very careful, but not immobilized. She's decisive, and she inspires respect from people. She is an incredibly thoughtful person who can put her ideas together in a way that convinces other people. When I hear her speak, I just think of her as somebody who's very wise. I really do. She's really a remarkable person and a remarkable judge. I'd love to have her on the court with me. I think it's so important to have in the law and in judicial positions in particular people that 
are there for the right reasons. What the law needs and what courts need in their judges are people committed to the fairness of the process. And I think I'm one of those people, so I'm, I'm in it for a long time to come. I gotta kick my shoes off. Okay, good job, see? Still, we're, we're both still at Philip.